What's goody, what's goody, what's goody, people? It's your boy, JFK. We live and direct right now. Find your lane television. We all over the place. Man, 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 man. It's been a crazy, crazy weekend, man. Some people weekend was crazier than others. I just hope everybody had a good, blessful weekend, you know what I'm saying? No drama, no BS. Hope everything was smooth, which, you know, sometimes things never is smooth. But, you know, it's not it's not, it's not, not bad to wish for it. Um, It's a bunch of things I wanted to talk to you all about today. I think I'm going to start with the little Dirk situation. First free Dirk, you know what I'm saying? We're going to start it off with that. But... I didn't know Dirk was that dumb, y'all. Like, <laughs> you literally dumb enough to crash out and send dudes on a hit. Like, I think it's the culture and, like, not even just the culture, but the type of music he makes. Like, the type of music he makes, like, you have to kind of handle stuff when stuff come your way because you make that type of music. You know what I'm saying? So, he probably got dudes in his ear, like, yo, man, they talking crazy about OTF, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And you know how that is. You when you when Especially when you the top dude, you the boss, you want to always look like, you know what I'm saying? So, I kind of could see why, because he probably got peer pressured by everybody, because everybody probably was saying, like, yo, what you little Tim out, all this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all going to do? You know what I'm saying? Y'all losing right now. You know what I'm saying? Von down. You know what I mean? God bless his soul. Lil' Tim out. You know, Quando Rondo, he chilling, doing interviews, you know, all that. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, when that situation happened, I kind of real figured it was Dirk now. Like the whole little drive-by situation and Quando Rondo man got hit up. The sad thing about it is they didn't even get the person they was trying to get. And when they took them, when them other dudes went to jail, because before Dirk went to jail, it was a bunch of OTF members. What I know it was like three or four of them that went to jail. When I seen that, I said, yeah, they definitely coming for Dirk next. See, they let Dirk rock with the Vaughn situation. Because you know him and Vaughn, they, like, him and Vaughn had got pulled over. Right after they had a shootout and got caught with guns. But Lil Dirk beat that because that's when I think he told on Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? That's when him and Vaughn got pulled right after they just do, did a shootout. You know what I'm saying? And they had guns in the car. And they were still going to court for that. And then Vaughn ended up getting killed. You know what I'm saying? God bless his soul. So that gave Dirk the okay to kind of say that was Vaughn because the only person getting the paperwork is the person you tell on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if the person you tell on is gone, is dead, then that probably get tucked away somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because the person with, who would have got the paperwork is dead. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know for sure, but... I mean, for Dirk to beat the whole case and he got pulled and they got found guns in the car that both of them was in and for Dirk, for them to just dismiss Dirk case. Like, come on, bro. You know Dirk had to give some type of information, but uh, we ain't gonna, they ain't gonna speak on that because that's Dirk. Um, I think it's messed up that, that our people gotta prove stuff to each other. Like, we just have to prove how tough we are we have to prove how much money we got. We have to prove how many guns we got. Like, we just have to prove so much. And I don't get it. Like, bro, Dirk, is, you supposed to be a millionaire, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like the way Quando Rondo is talking right now. Quando Rondo, like, yo, we done lost enough. Like, ain't he right? Like, damn, when is it enough, bro? Especially in Chicago, bro. All of them deaths. 
I can understand when you on the come up or you in the struggle and you trying to come up. But when you already up and you still doing the book, come on, bro. We so conditioned, man. It's sad, bro. Like, people can get millions of dollars and still crash out and do BS. Like, what? <laughs> All the stuff, like, it ain't like Thug. Like, they charging Thug with stuff from when he wasn't even rich. He ain't even had no money when they charging the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of understand. But come on, bro. You doing stuff like that and you rich? Man, what you think this is? Vice City, bro? Everybody you hire gonna tell on you. You idiot. I just hate to see, like, I didn't know we was this dumb, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to me, bro. What else going on that's crazy right now? Tory Lane's about to. The... I told y'all Tory didn't do that, man. Y'all could go, nobody watch my videos, but y'all could definitely backtrack my vids, shorts or whatever. It's definitely on there. I've been told y'all, Tory did not shoot Meg the Stallion. Come on, bro. Like, you can't tell me the sky is green and I'm looking at a blue sky, bro. Like, come on, man. And I think everybody who went and jumped out the window and said he did that, y'all need to apologize. And if I was him, I would sue Meg the Stallion, Rock Nation, everybody. Word to mother. Because we all knew that man ain't shoot no Meg the Stallion, bro. Like, come on, man. A person that would shoot a female would be a person that would beat up a female. Like, how you go? We I've never even heard of Tory Lanez putting his hands on a female, let alone shooting them. You mean, we go from not, I never heard of him putting his hands on a female, but then you just go to off rip, he's shooting females. Come on, bro. You had two to three witnesses saying that they seen a woman shooting the gun. You had two to three witnesses, and their and their testimonies got like thrown out. Nobody paid attention to it. Like that whole trial was a flim flam, bruh. And how Meg the Stallion don't get charged for lying, cause she said he did it. She was on stand crying, boo hooing, and all that, saying Tory Lanez did it, knowing she was lying. She don't get charged for that. Like you just lied on this man. They try to kill his whole career. They was ready to extradite this man and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew that man ain't shoot that girl. All of that was is because Tory Lanez was talking about exposing all of them important people and Atlantic Records. That's all that really was about, my dude. Free Tory, though, man. Glad to see he getting out of there, man. Word, got an innocent person from trying to give an innocent man 12 years. Bro, y'all can have the industry, bro. Y'all can have the industry. I'd rather work and just make YouTube videos, and hopefully I could get monetized, because even YouTube be hating. They take my watch hours. Like, they've been taking hundreds and hundreds of my watch hours. I don't know what's up with that, and I'm steady getting views. Like, it's not no Hassan Campbell-type views, but they views, you know what I'm saying? But they be taking them. So it's hard to get the watch hours you're supposed to get for your channel to get monetized when YouTube is taking them. That's crazy to me. What else we going to talk about today? What else we going to talk about today? You know what I want to talk about or just say? I feel like the internet keeps a lot of these rappers around that's not really doing too good musically. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, right? Like Boosie's, Rick Ross's, a couple other. Like, we wouldn't even hear about these dudes if it wasn't for the internet because they're not doing nothing musically. You know what I'm saying? I think the campaign that is... Yo, everybody supporting Kamala, that's how you know don't vote for her. <laughs> like, you got Usher coming out for her. You got Beyonce coming out for her. You got everybody in the industry showing up for Kamala Harris. This is how you know don't vote for her. 
Meanwhile, Trump getting shot at. They they almost killed Trump, but we talk about that with staged. I don't think somebody is staged a headshot because they was trying to take his head and his ear got grazed. So that means they was trying to take his head off, bro. I don't think that. I thought it was staged until I heard that he got grazed on the ear. I'm like, oh, no, I don't think nobody going to risk that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they trying to take Trump out. Meanwhile, Kamala got the whole industry coming out singing at her joint. That's how you know don't vote for her, bro. The industry, all of this entertainment. It's, it's entertainment. Are you not entertained? <laughs>